Thank you. I appreciate the invitation to speak today. Today I'm going to be speaking about drones. I'm not talking about um, drones you race or those little selfie drones. Um, I'm really talking about drones for industrial application, drones at work. And there's a big market for, for, for drones. Um, this is kind of an amalgamation of a few different market surveys. Um, you can see that oil and gas fits in here under the infrastructure uh, side. A lot of these convenient little drones that are rotorcraft only last for 30 minutes, maybe an hour if you've got some great new battery technology on them, but that wasn't enough for most people. Um, they need to be um, platforms. They, uh, when you have a drone, if, if it just does one application, but when we talk to people, there's so many different applications the drone could be doing, so they need to be built as platforms that can carry a bunch of different um, sensors and connect to a bunch of different systems. Um, they need to be connected because the point of, getting the, of having the drone is to get the data. So when you connect the drone um, to the internet, um, then you can have that data accessible anywhere. And they need to be really, really tough. Like a lot of people have gone and tried the hobby drones and they find out that they're really not tough. They're not environmental. They don't work in the temperature or the kind of conditions that you see in the oil patch. Um, so we built a drone that has these characteristics. It's, uh, it's a very different kind of a drone in that it's tethered. And it's tethered to supply power um, to it and do communications. So we don't have RF um, signals that can be um, captured, spoofed, or intercepted. And the trick, uh, as, you, as you asked about, is this microfilament tether. It's really thin, it's really long, and it's really durable and rugged. Drones constantly transmitting not just the video data, but all the data from all its sensors, and that you can access from anywhere in the world. We've got the system deployed with the military. We're really excited about it. I can't tell you much about it, but they're doing great work at combat outposts, and you'll have to guess where. <laughs> These guys at the Army Testing Command, they run it in all kinds of temperatures. They run it in all kinds of dust storms. They run it in the kind of situation that the guys see in, in the field to make sure it's going to work for them. And we're deployed with Army and Special Forces. Responding to incidents, they don't have complete knowledge of the situation. What we give is that bird's eye view and complete coverage. 30 times uh, zoom, so you can zoom in at any point of interest. Um, we're leveraging all different kinds of payloads, so you have all different kinds of data. And because we're powering the UAV from the ground, that incident isn't going to be half an hour or 45 minutes, right? It could be several hours, if not days. We're going to give you eyes on all the time.